we'll start off with Casey Holdell with trailblazers.com. Uh, Terry, I guess, how would you categorize that that loss? Uh, obviously, coming off the, the win last night, uh, it was a tough game as well. Weren't able to pull out in fourth quarter this time. How, how would you kind of surmise how you guys played? Well, um, from an offense standpoint, it was, uh, it was a struggle for a lot of the night, have, particularly the first quarter. Um, you know, we, I, we had a 40-point fourth quarter, but uh, I thought we did a good job of trying to fight through some uh, shooting struggles throughout the game. Uh, defensively, we did a lot of the priorities after game one, you know, on Towns and their offensive rebounds and uh, their second chance points. We did a good job with uh, a lot of the things that we prioritized be after game one. Um, but, you know, I uh, thought we good, gave a good effort in the fourth quarter to try and get back into it, but the hole was too deep. Next question is coming from Christos Saltas with Sport DNA. Coach, you made a great effort in the last six minutes of the game and you made a great comeback on the game, but how you worried about the first six minutes of the fourth quarter? Well, that was that was a tough stretch. You know, Dame came out of the game. Uh, I think we we lost seven points in about two minutes. Um, had to bring, back, bring Dame back a little bit quicker. But yeah, that, you know, from the beginning, at the end of the third, and then particularly the start of the fourth, they were, they were able to get some separation. And uh, one of the things that it's a little unusual because I think that group that starts the second quarter and the fourth quarter has has been playing well, uh, but they they weren't able to take advantage of it that uh, during the fourth quarter. Next question is coming from Aaron Fintress with the Oregonian. Coach, what made uh, Edwards so difficult to deal with for you guys tonight? Did you hear me? Yeah, uh, it's not you. It's um, I'm a long way away from the mic. Uh, <laughs> well, I tell you what, when he when he makes threes, he had 13 in the fourth quarter. Uh, what he make? Um, he had three threes in the fourth quarter, and so he's such a dynamic driver. He gets to the rim, and so if he starts making step back threes, uh, that that made the difference in the in the fourth quarter. You know, if he makes. He makes those threes, tough threes, um, in addition to the way he can get to the basket. Uh, it's he's a, he's a potent offensive player. Are you at all disappointed with the start to the second half after all the momentum you guys created at the end of the first half? Um, I don't know. I, I thought I went back and forth. Um, you know, we only had like a two-point lead, I think, at halftime. So uh, I don't know that we had a lot of momentum. Uh, we. You know, we did get back into the game in the second quarter, but you know, I, I wouldn't say that we had that much momentum to carry forward anyway. What's that? I meant start of the second half of the season, my fault. Oh, yeah, clear. Oh, um, no, I mean, uh, I can't even remember. I'm just, uh, you know, we want to play good basketball, and you know, I think three games is a little bit early to. Say we're off to a bad start. Next question is coming from Dwight James with NBC Sports Northwest. Gary, the cliche is always that it's hard to beat a team twice in a row. And, and maybe you could speak to why that is, um, particularly a team that has you know, the fewest wins and the most losses of anybody in the league. Well, uh, one is I think it's uh, human nature uh, to uh, – whether human nature on both sides for uh, the team that loses to uh, really compete a little bit harder and the team that wins might let their guard down a little bit. So I think a little human nature is involved in it. Um, you know, Minnesota's played three good games. Out of the break, they, they went to New Orleans and uh, beat them by 30. Uh, they played a good game against us last night and they played well tonight. So uh, at this point, you know, I, I realize their record is what it is, but uh, give them credit that they, they played really well. Towns had an outstanding game in game one, and Edwards had a great game in game two. Yeah, they've only beaten two 500 teams since January 1st, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm aware of their record and what they've done. Good. Thank you. All right. Any other questions for Coach Stops? We're going to wrap there then. Thank you. All right, thank you.